Hi everybody, this is Bonnie Smith and just want to give you an update. I haven't posted in a while, but we are now completing lesson two in A Course in Weight Loss, um, Marian Williamson's book. And it's been quite extraordinary. Um, lesson two has been a challenge. It is about thin you meeting not thin you. And it's all about embracing ourselves and the different things that will come about in having that happen. Uh, there's so many things in the chapter, and I definitely encourage everyone to listen to it. But um, one of the things that was interesting, if I could find the part that we read tonight, and even if I don't find it, I know that the not thin you really just wants to be listened to. And how many times in our lives, even in anything, do we just want to be listened to? Isn't that great when we have people in our lives that listen to us? It's the best gift that we could ever give to one another. And so the not thin you wants that just the same as anyone else. And once she or he is listened to, that is where the immersion into one, into one, one being, not that we have to know ourselves as thin you and not thin you, but that there's a, a um, collaboration of one that you'll get to see. And this lesson also was about writing a letter to your not thin you and I finally wrote the letter. I had um, read the book and spoke about it several times. But I will say, in anything that you do in life, homework is given, or exercises in a book in this case, are given for a reason. And writing the letter was pretty profound because I really didn't, didn't realize how much energy that I was taken up in my brain and my body on not forgiving myself for things that had happened growing up or even as a, a young adult. And it really um, is time to let go. You know, my favorite song that I sing, uh, Let It Go, one of the lines is, it talks about the past is in the past. And that's all that there is. We have the past is in the past and we have the moment. And the opportunity to complete that with the letter, if people are struggling with their weight and really don't understand why they're still having problems, then I highly recommend you look at lesson two and write a letter to your not thin self. It will be very liberating. And it was for me, um, I felt, a sense of lightness with my body that I hadn't felt in a long time and sense of ease and of course I'm doing a lot of things um, as well to pr to have that happen but it's all part of shedding some some fears again because that's really where the focus is with Marion Williamson really just shedding the fears and not being afraid or if you were afraid, just realize that that was just a way that we had to protect ourselves from anything. You know, could have been, uh, I remember when I first moved to Florida, I, I seemed to be attacked by mosquitoes. And I remember I used to laugh when I had this vision of um, coming out of my apartment. I used to live more in the Everglades and I would cut, and I'm a city girl from Brooklyn. And so when we moved to Florida, the fear of opening up the door and having all those mosquitoes attack me, they loved my skin and still do. But um, so it could be anything. It doesn't have to be anything significant, but fear is significant if it's, if it's in your system and the body doesn't know the difference between what could be really fearful or again, it could trigger a response. So I, um, I really do enjoy the opportunity to share this with you 
because it was very rich, the chapter, and I think we, the group has all agreed that we've been just really having so much uh, breakthroughs or understanding and aha moments. And I just want to read the prayer at the end of lesson two to complete it for myself too, to, um, as we move on to lesson three in, um, in just being powerful and complete with the, um, the whole experience and really understanding and getting to have thin, thin me meet not so thin me. And again, the, the lesson two is thin you meet not thin you. So dear God, please forgive me if I have failed to love every part of your creation. Open my eyes that I might see, soften my heart that I might love. Open my mind that I might understand every aspect of myself. Heal my relationship with all of me that I might suffer no more. Such violence towards myself. Please help me for by myself I cannot win this war. Please lift me above the battlefield to the peace that lies beyond. Thank you, God. Amen. So on this leap year, February 29th, we got to complete the lesson two. Moving on to March, where we go into lesson three, and I look forward to being able to share more insights and revelations that we get from this beautiful book. Thank you, and you have a great day, a great evening, a great moment whenever you are listening to this, and I hope this has been helpful to you.